Questions about the price of the downtown arena are circulating. Some in the public want an, want an updated estimate for what it will cost to build the arena in 2021 after voters approved the project way back in 2012. But the city council said today it would not provide that estimate. ABC 7's Dylan McKim was at the meeting today. And Dylan, what, why did council members decide to not get an update, updated estimate? And Eric, this was a very close vote. It ended up being four to three in favor of denying the estimate. And the biggest reason council members gave for saying no was because they did not want to spend money to prepare it and end up with an inaccurate estimate. The question over the downtown arena drawing in a lot of members of the public. All of them that spoke want to stop the whole project. You are going to bankrupt the city if you go forward with this. We've already told you we don't want this. Y'all want to make it rain by building a sports arena for a G League basketball team? Let's keep it real. Nobody cares about G League. But the meeting was not about whether or not to stop the project. Let's find out what the price is. It was to find out how much this project would cost taxpayers. In 2012, voters approved $180 million to build the 15,000 seat capacity arena. But times have changed and people want to know what the new price would be if you calculate inflation and the cost of litigation surrounding the project. We have a right to know the cost of this, the media, and especially you, so that you can make informed policy decisions. Thank you, sir. But some city council members felt an estimate would be useless. The city does not even know what the scope of the project is. It's not something as simple as putting some quick estimates together. I think that we have a duty to inform the public with accurate information. But others feel this is something that needs to be done. What is it we are looking at? What is this project? What, it, what do we as a council want from this project? The citizens of El Paso need this information. Why? Because it's their money, their taxpayer money. We need to be cognizant of that. But in the end, council decided not to get an estimate at this time. But that may change. Right after the vote, Mayor Oscar Leeser speaking up. I do plan on vetoing the action because I think that citizens deserve better than that. And I believe the citizens deserve to know whether it's an estimate or not. I believe that needs to happen in our community. And city manager Tommy Gonzalez said if the veto does stick, he would like some more detailed parameters on what the members want. And the mayor said this project would be in-house. They would not hire consultants to help make the estimate. Stephanie.